Hi, this is Deborah Stewart, and I'm working in my studio. I'm working on some paintings on paper, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about that. This is something that I do frequently before I start, say, a larger canvas. I have three big canvases that I'm going to be starting pretty soon. And I had an idea on a color that I wanted to do some green paintings. So, and uh, so I needed to work out some, what kind of green, what's going to go with the green, you know, all of those things. And so I'm just showing you some things that I frequently do before I start paintings. And thanks for watching. Well, I've got my um, book out here that I practice mixing paint on. And I'm going to start mixing some greens. I've already mixed some greens in my book that I'm going to go back and take a look at. But I have in mind that I want to do a green painting of some kind. So that's what my intention is. And I'm just going to play around with some possibilities, some underpaintings of different colors, a little bit of viridian. I'm um, going to try and mix some viridian with some other colors, with some black, with some brown, have some mark making. So, you know, I just like to do this kind of thing Oops. before I start anything. I'm just kind of a process of searching around for different ideas and what I want to do. So I really love this color, which is this F&W Antelope Brown Ink. So I'm going to put a little of that down. Oh, I just love this. I could put any color on top of that. Then I'm going to see what's it going to be like if I mix a little bit of Viridian with that antelope green. What am I going to get? There's another really nice color. That might be my underpainting right there. And maybe the plain Viridian. So different colors of underpainting because I'm thinking about doing some green paintings. So I'll put a little bit of the raw umber now in that viridian. And just see what I've done. See what it turns out to be. I have used, ah, I need a nail. Uh, it's clogged. Okay, so I stuck a nail down there. There it comes. There it comes. Okay. So let me try, here's some raw umber, and maybe I will put a little bit of the raw umber in with the viridian, which is always nice too. So I'll have to make a decision on what I want to use for this underpainting. And then some different mark making, which I'll end up using the black Stabilo. Um, I may use this other black. This is a art graph marker. I might use that. I have a green Derwent, so I might use some of that. Some brown. You kind of see those are the colors I'm really starting to think about. Here is another brown. I've got a few browns there. Uh, one, another one of these art graph, which I think I'll add a little bit of. Let's see, there's another nice color, and almost the same as this, but a little bit different. And then the other thing I have is I have some of this Titan Green Pale, a really nice color. Hmm. And I could change it up a little by putting something warm
Maybe I will put a little of this in here. More of this uh, art graph. I like these a lot with pastel and even acrylic painting because it just gives a good way to come up with some kind of an underpainting. So those are the colors I've been thinking about. I'm gonna think about what, I'm gonna start some acrylic paintings and so then it is what am I gonna use on here to develop those paintings. So that's kind of the first thing I do before I start something is I just kind of mess around with some paints, I make a few small sketches and I think, what is it that I really want to do? What kinds of colors do I want to start with? And as I'm looking at this now, I probably will start with this and go with the viridian and the umber. I think that those are the colors that I'm going to start with. So I'm playing around with some greens here and um, you know I've used that antelope brown as an underpainting here and over here a little bit lighter and some viridian I've put in there a little bit of mark making and I put some of the red reddish um, art graph marker up here because I think I want a little bit of real neutral a warm reddish color. So now I'm putting in some a chromium green mixed with a little bit of black and white and I'm going to really start with the chromium green and mix it with some yellow ochre and then I'm also going to put in kind of a lighter version of that. And I'm going to stick with that for a while, let some of the underpainting show through. So that's, you know, that's what I've been doing. Those are the colors I've been mixing. I did mix some other colors too, but um, those were the main colors. So really, I'm just looking 
I want to limit the colors that I'm going to use for my painting um, for the most part. And I want to think about value, different kinds of mark making, different areas of thick and thin, uh, open areas that don't have as much going on in them. And so I find even from last year, a painting that I did last year to this year, I don't like as well. And I'm getting ready to cover a couple of things up that I actually liked at this time last year. And now it's like, well, those really don't work anymore. So, because I'm after different things, so I'm after thick and thin uh, levels of paint, washes, different marks, and more movement. And so uh, now I'm going to put in some of that lighter, actually it's a flesh ochre, so it's actually probably a paint color that gets used for portraits. But I like the color. It doesn't really matter what it gets used for. I just want some kind of a warm color with these. And see, these are all just experiments. And it's a fun way to loosen up because I don't really care what happens. Uh, it's just a uh, of exploring what colors are going to work, um, what looks good, what do I like. And if I like them, then I can put them up while I paint larger pieces Oops. and say, well, I really like how that looks. I think I will use that. So this is the kind of thing that I do with um, acrylic paintings before I get started, just I just mess around and it loosens me up and I see, well, do I really like those colors? Do I want to do a whole painting kind of based on these colors? And where did I get the color idea? Well, the color idea actually came from one of my pastels that I've been looking at at home. And as I looked at it, I thought, boy, I really love those greens. So, and it's summer. So I figure everything around me is influencing me in these colors that I'm looking at. So that's where the ideas for the colors come from is things that I've been looking at, things I've been paying attention to. And it's just uh, fun to play around with things without having a plan because I think that is how you find and discover things is when you're playing around without having a plan as to where it is you're going. I don't think you always need to know exactly what you're doing. If That's a lot of pressure if you feel that you always have to know how something is going to turn out. Sometimes things turn out without trying to control them so much. So anyway, this has just been an experiment on my part to look for the colors that I want to use. And I really do think um, I've not done a green painting in a long time. So I really do think I'm going to do a couple of uh, 36 by 36 green paintings. And then I'm going to do a really large unstretched canvas in the same color. So I'm going to play around with these a little bit more. But I like the color combinations. And uh, that was really 
my intention on doing these.